Welcome to sketching a hairy woodpecker. So first we're going to look at our photograph. We're going to look at the trunk uh, he's uh, perched on. Then we're going to look at his body, starting with his head and the angle of his bill and the patterns on his face and the red color and the white and black stripes and that stripe on the back of his body there and his tail and the stripes on the wings, those wing bars. And then those nice strong feet that help keep him perched uh, vertically on those uh, tree trunks. So next we're going to start uh, looking at him to draw. We're going to make some measurements uh, to place the uh, trunk of the tree. Always using my pencil as a measuring tool. Just drawing very lightly and loosely. Hardly putting any pressure on the pencil so I don't feel like the need to erase. Then we're looking at the angle of the head. So we can get that kind of teardrop shaped uh, head down first. And you'll notice as I go through this tutorial, I'll be doing some corrections and that's why I stay so light and loose. So I'm double checking, noticing that I had a little bit too low. So there I am again, uh, fixing that. So that's why we stay really light and loose. So we don't feel like we need to erase too much in the beginning. Just getting that bill and that forehead down, always double checking our measurements. Always looking back and forth between the photograph and our drawing, making sure to ground truth. I use my left hand to kind of help me keep track of where I'm drawing. Working on that belly and then the back. Again, staying so loose that it's really easy to make corrections. Always trying to look at the height and the width of each part. And just working a little bit over the entire body, not firming up anything too much until I get the whole body. Getting that back. Always double checking my measurements. Of course, this is easier to do when you're drawing from a photograph. Looking at that white tail, that outermost tail feather is all white. That's one of the characteristics that helps identify the hairy woodpecker uh, compared to the downy woodpecker, its close relative. You see how I'm continuously ground truthing my heights and widths, and you should do the same. So now um, I have the whole outline, so I'm just going to do a tiny bit of erasing, getting rid of some of those try lines, cleaning it up just a little bit. You see, I'm not constantly going back between drawing and erasing. I try to do that in, in uh, separate segments. So separating out the editing and the creating phases. Again, now I'm going to go back and just start to firm things up a little bit more. Looking at that bark that the, the bird is perched on. Trying to get that bill a little bit straighter. They have a very strong bill for continually uh, tapping on the uh, wood to uh, look for insects and to excavate their nests and of course to communicate with their drumming sounds. So they're using that bill a lot. So it's a big strong dark bill. Getting the length of that entire head and bill. Bill length is important. It's another thing that separates this from the closely related um, smaller downy woodpecker, which has a shorter bill relative to its head. 
So bill length and shape is always an important characteristic when drawing a bird. Now we're looking at his neck. And his chest. And his back and his wings. wait to add those feet until I've got things a little bit more firmed up. And look at the wings now. We're going to get those primary flight feathers down first, that really long straight line of the flight feathers, which I think I correct a bit a little bit later. It was a little bit off. Now the pile of secondary feathers there. And you see there's some uh, wing bars, all those white sort of uh, feathers, those stripes on the the, uh, the wing. And those are pretty variable, so you don't have to be too perfect about them. There's a lot of different races of this hairy woodpecker, and they all have sort of different wing patterns, so you don't have to be too concerned about that. Now I'm looking at that tail more, and that white outermost tail feather, and then the central tail uh, divides up into kind of two piles of feathers. And those central tail feathers are very uh, stiff. They have a central uh, rachis that's very stiff to help them prop against the uh, tree. So again, I had gone over the bird second time. Now I'm going over a third time. Just firming things up each time. I go a little bit darker with my lines adding the edge of the bill and that kind of fuzzy nose bristles and the forehead. Again, double checking my widths and my lengths. And now that I'm uh, pretty sure about the shape of the bird, I'm going to start adding the, the, uh, the uh, legs there to that left leg. They've got four toes, but only three are really showing here. Uh, two that kind of go forward and one that goes out uh, sort of horizontally. So I'm looking at those uh, three visible toes. They have very strong claws that help them because most of their life they're perched vertically on those trunks searching for beetle grubs and other insects or excavating their nests. So they've got that sort of a unique uh, toe that points out horizontally and then one that goes sort of up and one that goes down. And on his right foot, not going to put too much detail there. Just um, indicating its uh, location, basically. So now I'm going to start to add those um, those facial patterns, placing the eye, noticing the the um, size of the eye compared to the to the bill, the width of the bill, and adding those uh, patterns that that stripe on the forehead. And of course, the red part on the back there. Many, many woodpeckers of the world, especially in North America, have this pied look, which is black and white with some red markings. Which is kind of indicating the locations of those various stripes. And keeping my, my left finger, uh, kind of trying to keep myself um, on track with where I'm at. And here's where I, 
I noticed that I felt the, the wing was a little bit oddly shaped. It's a really nice straight line there of those primary feathers. So I'm just modifying that a little bit. Double checking the length of the tail. I'm going to look at the shape of that back, correct it a little bit. And looking at that stripe it has on the back of the, of the back. <laughs> Now we're going to start getting a little bit more details of these wings. You can see there's these parallel lines of, of white feathers. And again, those are pretty individual with the, the bird and, and the, the, um, the race of that species within uh, its range. So you just uh, kind of want to indicate that. person could spend a lot of time making it completely exact, but again, since there's so much variability, uh, you don't have to keep it that perfect. And I do like to encourage you to try to draw lightly and loosely as if you were in the field. So uh, this isn't a, a formal ornithological illustration, so we're not trying to get everything totally perfect, just indicating a bit where those... Uh, that big clump of secondary feathers are and primary feathers and then the uh, white uh, rows of feathers um, along there. He's apparently called the hairy woodpecker because of that white hairy stripe that he has that's very obvious on the back. So now we're adding those those white feathers and you see there's sort of a pattern to them and, and being in these uh, lines that are kind of a 45 degree angle. Just carefully looking back and forth between my reference photo and my drawing and using my finger just to keep track of how many rows there are. Just going back and forth really slowly. And just double checking, counting. Counting those rows. And then I'm just adding those parallel lines, just kind of indicating some of those feathers. Then going back to the tail, noticing again that characteristic white, that snow white outermost tail feather and then that left clump of tail feathers and then the right clump of tail feathers. Just looking over everything a little bit, just double checking before I go farther. So now that I've got a pencil outline, I'm going to switch to a pen. This is a fine line uh, permanent pen, ink pen, black. And so I'm just going to go over all my lines again very carefully and slowly, just outlining all the bird and the patterns. So I'm just going to fast forward through here while I outline the entire bird in the um, permanent black ink pen. 
And then just emphasizing all those internal uh, feather patterns, which are uh, fairly unique to the species. So now I'm going to add some color. I'm just using these uh, Derwent Color Soft colored pencils, but there's lots of good brands to use. So I added that red uh, uh, area on the back of the bird's head. And now I'm adding some black. And I think I'll fast forward through this as well. So I'm just going to continue to add this, uh, the black patterning on the wings and the tail. Adding a little bit of cream color on those nasal bristles, darkening up that red spot on the male, adding a little gray on the, uh, on the bill and the feet. Adding those black nails and just going around the whole bird, getting a little bit more definition. Again, treating this as fairly like a field sketch. We're just going just really quick and loose, just getting the basic uh, color patterns down of this species. Having fun and not being too particular. But emphasizing that black so those white spots really show off those beautiful white feathers. And a little bit of uh, more gray to round out that belly. And we're just about done. Thanks for joining me. Take care.